Murphy's perfect love Have you heard of the one in heaven? Have you heard how he gave his son? Cause I have found this love I believe in the sun Show me for kids on today. You know, what do you think would happen if Batman saw Robin in trouble and just walked away? First of all, do you think he would do that? What if Snoopy fell in a well, Charlie Brown saw him, and just left him and thought, I'll just get a new dog. You think Charlie Brown would do that? Do you think that Scooby would ever just leave Shaggy to fight the monsters and the creepy things and to do all the investigation by himself? No. You see, when you think of Robin, you think of Batman. When you think of Snoopy, you think of Charlie Brown. When you think of Shaggy, you think of Scooby. They just kind of go together. They're best friends. And you don't usually see one without the other. Now, sometimes you would see Batman fighting by himself, but if Robin was ever around, around him, you know that they would work together as a team. They're just kind of certain duos that go together. They're best friends. You know, you might have a best friend as well. Best, the thing about best friends is they're loyal to each other. They're faithful. They don't always just look out for themselves. They care about the interest of the other person. You know, they don't let other things come between them. They worry about each other. They care about each other because they love each other and they want what's best for the other person. We're gonna start a new series over the next few weeks and we're gonna be looking at some best friends in the Bible. Today we're gonna to be talking about some best friends that you might have even heard of before. Their names are Jonathan and David, or as we're gonna to refer to them today, Davy and Johnny. And let's find out a little bit more about them and what happened to them and their story. This is Jonathan. Hey! Who was the son of King Saul and a warrior in Israel's army. 
This is David, hey. who would later become the king of Israel. Huh? After David defeated a great giant, he was brought before King Saul and he met Jonathan. They immediately became friends. Yeah! yeah. And Jonathan made a pact with David and showed him that by giving David his robe and weapons. Oh, hang on. From that time on, David was successful in all he did. Uh! And King Saul became jealous of David and very angry. Uh. Saul wanted his servants and Jonathan to get rid of David, but because Jonathan loved his friend David, he warned David of what his father was planning. Oh, oh. Jonathan went to his father, King Saul, and talked him out of harming David. Mm. Okay. For a time, David was safe from King Saul's plans. Phew. But not long after, the king's jealousy and anger came back, and he tried to kill David. Whoa! David got away, and his friend Jonathan came to help him. I got it. Jonathan tried again to talk his father out of hurting David. No. But now King Saul was convinced he needed David to be gone. Jonathan was angry and sad that his father would not let his friend go. <sighs> and he knew that David would have to go into hiding and run from King Saul. Jonathan met David one last time, and the two cried and said their goodbyes. <laughs> Jonathan told David to go in peace and that they had a special bond in God's name. Then David left and lived a life on the run from King Saul, and Jonathan returned to the town. Even though they were separated, the two were the best of friends and were an encouragement to one another. Yeah! You know, best friends are not friends just to see what they can get from the other person. David didn't become a best friend of Jonathan just to see what he could get from Jonathan, with Jonathan being the son of the king. That didn't matter to David. David and Jonathan were friends because they truly cared about each other and they wanted what was best for each other. And even when things got hard, David and Jonathan didn't give up on each other. As a matter of fact, in their last meeting, they made some important promises to each other to be faithful, to look out for each other. And even later in his life, after Jonathan had died, David kept a promise that he made to take care of Jonathan's family. David did that. They weren't just friends in good times, but they were friends to, to each other and they were faithful to each other even when things got hard. They kept promises to each other. That's what friends do. Friends are faithful. They stick through each other to each other even when things are hard. For about one month each year, we transfer our homes for Christmas. As we pull decorations out of storage, we begin decorating with Christmas trees, lights, garland, nativity scenes, and angels. You know, as warm and comforting as seeing these decorations are, that's nothing compared to a true friendship. A true friendship is rare. A true friendship is something that needs to be held onto and fought for. Yes, these decorations do bring us comfort for one month out of the year, but a true friendship lasts week after week, month after month, year after year. Don't let pride, greed, envy, you know, silly arguments come between you and your friends. Find a special way to thank your friend for what they mean to you and how much you love them. Thank God for your friend. And when you're thanking God for your friend, be sure to remember to thank God for the friend you have in Jesus. One of the best ways to thank God and your friend is being faithful. Commun uh, communication goes a long way with, with your friends and with God. So again, thank God for your friend. And if you don't have a friend, ask God to give you one. In either case, be sure to thank, ask God to make you the friend you need to be. Hey, how you doing today? It sure is good to know that you're out there watching, and I'm glad you are. Uh, today we're doing a new memory verse, and so I want you to work on it, and it's a very good one, okay? Proverbs 17, 17. This is what it says. A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for a time of adversity. Adversity means a time of, of trouble, okay? So a friend loves at all times, and a brother is born out of a time of adversity. So when you go through a hard time, your friend may maybe come closer to, as a brother, okay? All right, Proverbs 17, 17.
A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for a time of adversity. Proverbs 17, 17. All right, I hope you memorize it. I hope you work on it. Write it down. Read over it every once in a while. Try to memorize it. All right, thank you. Have a good day. We've all experienced a letdown by a friend. You know, someone who kind of pretended to be our friend because we had something that they wanted or maybe they just kind of wanted to use us. We've all had that feeling of being used or had someone try to pretend to be our friend and then let us down. It's a terrible feeling, isn't it? You know, if we're honest, we might have even been that kind of friend that used someone else. But God doesn't want that for us. He wants something better. He wants us to be friends in good times and bad times. He wants us to be faithful to each other. You know, he wants us to remember that true friends put the needs of the other person ahead of our own needs. He wants us to remember that is, of course, for the example of Jesus who gave his own life for us to be his friend. You know, when we look at David and Jonathan, we see loyalty. We see faithfulness. And true friends, they celebrate the good times when things are going great for their friend. But when things are hard, things are tough, they're right there supporting their friend when things are rough. They don't walk away. They don't give up. A true friend, a best friend, is a friend at all times. So let's follow the example of Jonathan and David that we find in the Bible. And let's be faithful to our friends. Let's be a true friend, the kind of friend that God wants us to be. Let's pray. God, we thank you for the example of friendship that we see in your word, Jonathan and David. We ask you to forgive us for the times that we haven't been faithful as a friend. And we pray that you would help us to learn from our mistakes and help us to set things right. Help us to be a true friend, a best friend that sticks by someone because it's the right thing to do. To be loyal to our friends when they're going through hard times, to cheer them on, to celebrate with them when things are good, but to not walk away when things are hard. Help us to be true and faithful. We thank you again for the example that we see in scripture. We thank you that you're a friend to us and that you don't leave us alone when things are hard either. We love you, Jesus, and we thank you for all the things that you've blessed us with. And we thank you for the friends that you've given to us. Help us to be a faithful friend. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, boys and girls. Welcome to another exciting game we're going to play today. It's called It's Beyond You. And we play this game because we remember the story of Jonathan and David and how they were close friends. And Jonathan made a promise that if David's dad was going to hurt him or try to kill him, then he would shoot the arrow a certain way. And if it went beyond him, then that means that David was in trouble. And if it wasn't, then, then David was in trouble. So that's what this game is all about. It's called It's Beyond You. So what we have today are our two, our two kids. <laughs> and what they're going to do is they're going to build a paper airplane, like an arrow, right? And they're going to have to throw it beyond us. Whoever throws it beyond us has to say, it's beyond you. And whoever says that first is the winner. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. I said it. <laughs> so that's how you play the game. Me and Al are going to be the servants. And so what we have to do is, if they don't make it to us, we retrieve their plane and take it back to them. And then they have to do it again. Alright? Sound good? All you need to play this is, is uh, four people maybe, and some paper to make paper airplanes. Alright? I hope you play it at home. It's going to be a lot of fun. Alright, you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Nope. <laughs> Alright, let's play! It's beyond you! On your mark, get set, go! They make the new paper airplanes and they're putting them in together. He 
has got pink and Holly's got blue. I hope I mean. <laughs> I'm a little colorblind out there in Chevrolet. All right, let's see how they fly. Oh, it's young. Oh, we have a winner, and we don't. <laughs> Make much of it. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. <laughs> that too though. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner, eater. You win. You big chip. Hey, all right. Thanks for coming to play this at home. And we'll see you later. Have a good one. Bye, boys. You were my best friend, and you will always be, and nothing will ever change that. You will always be forever, you and me. Oh, nothing will ever change. You were my best friend, and you will always be, and nothing will ever change.